Good morning, everyone. My name is Marta, and I'm with my father and Joao. And together, we have developed fit movies. We have done so also with several advisors, uh, which were Gonçalo Ferreira, João Barcia, Luis Pinto Coelho, Rita Figueiredo, and Filipe Almeida, that are from many different areas. So, uh, to develop this idea, we, we applied the VCW uh, methodology that is divided in several steps. And the first one is the brainstorm to understand the need for our product. So, in general, nowadays, there are many deaths and illnesses that could be avoided just by changing to healthier lifestyles. Uh, for example, it is es estimated that nowadays there is a substantial proportion of cancers, circulatory disease, and also vascular dementia that can be avoided by changing the people's lifestyles. And how? We can reduce bad habits, such as smoking and sleep deprivation. We could uh, increase physical activity and also to improve the diet. And to do so, we developed an online platform uh, that will integrate uh, sports monitoring, uh, will have rewarding programs, and will also have personalized activities, such as teasers, challenges, and sports announcements. So after establishing this, we move to the next phase, which is to discover the value of our idea. And the base, the base of this idea was when we realized that 60% of the employees claim to have productivity issues. And this is not only an economic problem, but also a health problem. So if you look here, uh, we went to some companies that are already adopting some of these health promotion programs. And we saw that if they use these programs, they will have approximately 27% reduction in health costs, 28% percent reduction in absenteeism and also 30% 30 30 uh, reduction in general costs with workers. So just by applying these uh, programs, companies will be able to reduce health co healthcare costs, to increase the productivity and also to reduce the absenteeism. And we took some uh, studies uh, that were comparing companies that were favorable to these uh, methodologies versus companies that were not favorable. And if you look at the graph, you will see that uh, in the companies that were not favorable to these processes, approximately 42% of the employees claim to be unproductive versus 25% of productive employees. But in the companies that were favorable to these um, uh, methodologies, you could see that only 7% of the employees were not productive versus 73% of productive. So this is a big thing. And what would these programs uh, influence? So on the employees, these will be 20, uh, 2.5 times more likely to be bad performers, 3 times more likely to be more productive, and 8 times more likely to be engaged. If we look at the organization's uh, point of view, uh, these will be three times more likely to encourage creativity and innovation and also four times less likely to lose talent within the next year. And how can they do this? So if you work here uh, at the workplace, these companies will need to uh, adopt occupational health and safety uh, programs. They will need to uh, have create this organizational culture and also to uh, stimulate voluntary health practices. So the next step is to create value. So for this, we tried to see which were the markets that would care about this project, uh, product and why. So I will give you some examples so that you can see the workflow. So here you can see, for example, in the companies, uh, our question was, what do they care about? Why would they care about this? Because they do care about good environment that will support creativity, about better health conditions for their collaborations, to increase the productivity and also to reduce the cost associated with occupational health. And what can we offer to this? We, we offer motivated people, uh, we offer uh, sports practice in order to motivate people and also the companies committed with the well-being of their co-workers. And after this, we came to Fit Movie Enterprise. Mm -hmm. For example, if we look to people active in sport, we will have Fit Movie Challenge, Fit Movie Evolution, Fit Movie Better Life, Fit Movie Citizen, Fit Movie for Gyms, 
feet move it feel better and feet move it help. For example, here on the first line again with jeans, they would want to innovate, to uh, create fidelity, to customize, to reduce in cost, to monitor the performance and to create a community and also to have easy access and we could give progress monitoring, challenges, rewards, interactions with other members. So, by taking all this together, uh, we did some brainstorming with our expert and we have established some filters. After establishing these filters, we move to the next phase, which is to validate the value. And to do so, we have selected the filters. So again, we looked at the brainstorming that we did with our experts and uh, we established several levels. For example, at the market level, we want to look at the high market size. If we look at the team, we want to have a more diverse team uh, expertise. And if we look at the product, for example, we want it to be uh, sustainable. So we took this and we, we put it, our filters uh, into the markets that we have developed. Here, we have used all these uh, strategies uh, because we only had eight. So the first filter was direct competitors and after applying this filter we got people with enterprise, health, citizen for gyms to feel better and health. We then applied the second filter which was lower cost in advertisement and we kept fit movie enterprise and fit movie citizen and the third filter revenues that gave us fit movie enterprise. But the problem is that fit movie enterprise is still too big. So maybe we need to look at insurance companies, small and medium companies, multinationals, we didn't know. So we talked again with the Cardoz from Sgurfi Vidal and went back to the previous opinion from our experts and we applied this filter again. And uh, so again, we start with fit movie insurance, small, medium, big and public. And the first filter was payment flow, and with this we excluded fit movie public. Then the second filter was the company size versus the platform complexity, and so we chose fit movie small and medium. Then the next part uh, is the second part of the value capture, and it is to create the contact. So again, this is an online platform that will integrate sports monitoring will have rewarding programs and also personalized stimuli such as teaser challenges and sports announcements. And what we want to sell is for you to let us connect the dots between a healthy lifestyle and productive outcomes in our company, in your company. Uh, so how would this work? We would have each company would have a client account in our pl platform and inside that account each employee which ha will have its own account. So this platform will be connected with uh, the employee devices which is which are uh, monitoring devices such as wearables and apps that most people nowadays use these would collect the information give the information back to the platform and this platform uh, would process this information and will make it available for the employee to follow uh, its evolution to monitor uh, the performance amongst many other features or uh, it's also in the platform and can be used to collect and analyze data. Then the third step is to consolidate the value and for this we developed our business model. So what we really want is to mo motivate healthy lifestyles through sports in order to increase productivity and we will do so by developing this online platform that can also be used for marketing and sales. And we need for this the IT experts, financial resources and also a marketing and sales strategy. We will collaborate with, with the companies from uh, smartwatches and apps, also with nutritional professionals or clinics and with insurance companies. We will start, as we've said, with small and medium companies uh, and to sell our product we will start with face-to-face -face, uh, meetings and we will also give personal assistance. So, in this sense we can go through direct sales or we can sell our product through these insurance companies. We will uh, manage our costs because we'll have a low maintenance costs 
and we will have uh, uh, also annual fees, but our revenues will come from the subscription of these companies that will pay our service. So, uh, again, when we come to this last step, we might need to come uh, forward again and to start over all this process, and we have done this uh, several times. Uh, so the next challenges are to put this on the market. So the first step is to uh, engage the IT and marketing expertise in our team and we did that until the end of 2015 and then in 2016 we will want to have the product development and uh, to launch a pilot scale for that we will need a, a company to collaborate with us. Then we want to go full scale scale into the Portuguese market in 2017 and by the end of this year we want to expand to the local markets and, and finally by the end of 2019 we want to expand to other segments. In general we can conclude that the major learned lessons were the, to have feedback from the experts is very important, to have the customer point of view, to have feedback from our colleagues, to be open to redefine our idea, to have competitor analysis, and also to be able to define the final attributes. The major challenges are to define the final attributes, to be able to narrow the market, and also to have a diversified team. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you will buy this music.